Thank you for watching this brief video presentation on the Kitzelt Project. The Kitzelt Project is located in the Niska traditional lands, the Nass Wildlife Area. This mining project is a proposed redevelopment of an existing abandoned mine and is located south of Alice Arm and approximately 200 kilometers by road, northwest of Terrace, BC. The mine site is ideally situated. It is accessible by road from Kitzalt and New Ianch via the Niska Highway and Forest Service roads. The property also has a 42 kilometer, 138 kilovolt power line connected to the Ianch substation, a part of the BC Hydro Grid. This existing line can be reactivated to its full capacity. The Kitzel project is located within the Lime Creek watershed and drains into Alice Arm. This is a separate geographical location from the Nass River watershed to the east. Kitzalt has three known molybdenum mineral deposits, Kitzalt, Bell Molly, and Roundy Creek. These projects hold great promise for Avanti mining and its neighbors in the Nass Valley. Avanti proposes to build a 40,000 ton per day mining facility which would produce an average of 24.5 million pounds of molybdenum per year over a 15-year mine life. Using conservative molybdenum prices, the after-tax value of the Kitzalt project is approximately $1.6 billion. When in full production, Kitzalt will be the fifth largest primary molybdenum mine in the world. The promise of Avanti is to convert the unseen assets below the ground into a sustainable future for its shareholders and the local community. In the 30 years since the Kitzalt mine was closed, molybdenum has become an essential commodity in the modern world. During the two-year construction period, the company will employ approximately 500 people. During the 15-year life of the mine, some 360 full-time jobs will be created. The mine development plan calls for a mine camp to house many of these employees. Preference will be given to the NISCA for training, employment and service contracts. The mine will also create an estimated 900 indirect jobs providing goods and services to the mine and the local communities. Additionally, Avanti believes the mine's life can be substantially expanded beyond 15 years based on known additional resources and the company's ongoing exploration program. Avanti has hired the world's top engineering and environmental consultants to develop a sustainable mine plan for Kitzald. The mine development plan calls for a primary crusher, a conveyor system, processing plant, and crushed and low-grade ore stockpiles. At well over $150 million, the tailings management facility will be built for the ages. It is engineered to withstand the shock of a major earthquake, an engineering design classed as extreme. In conjunction with Avanti and its consultants, ResCan Environmental Services has determined the upper reaches of Patsy Creek to be free of fish and an ideal location for the tailings management facility that will serve to contain much of the crushed ore from the mine. This site is also an ideal spot for the development of a waste rock management facility just below the tailings management facility. The drainage for both of these facilities will be into the open pit. This will allow for water containment and treatment if needed at the end of the life of the mine. Closing the mine, a process called reclamation, is a process developed at the start of mining and takes many years and ongoing staffing and again the Niska people will be given preference in terms of training and jobs for this activity. During the process of reclamation, all tailings and waste rock management facilities will be stabilized. The sites will then be covered with soil and seeded with indigenous vegetation. The camp, mill and other site buildings will be dismantled and relocated. The tailings management facility and open pit will become managed lakes. The access road will be maintained so that ongoing monitoring of the dam, water quality and reclamation success can be ensured. The land will be returned to nature. Presently, the company is in consultation with all parties to complete a formal process called an environmental assessment. 
To guarantee proper reclamation of the lands, Avanti will agree to post a bond, presently estimated at $45 million, before mine construction begins to ensure that reclamation is completed. Stewardship of the land and the sustainability of the people is the primary responsibility of both the Niska Nation and provincial and federal governments. In support of these principles, Avanti Mining has invested tens of millions of dollars to date. Avanti has won the support of the international financial community in developing the Kitsalt project. Now we welcome the opportunity of growing with the Niska Nation, BC and Canada, a world-class economic development at Kitsalt.